गुड इवनिंग हाय संयुक्ता वेलकम वेरी गुड इवनिंग हाय दीप्ति हाय कलेवाणी हाय शेष कुमारी कविता वेलकम गुड इवनिंग राजी पल्लवी वेरी गुड इवनिंग हाय चित्रा सिसीवर साइड नमस्ते हाय रुक्मिणी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम हाय रेखा वेरी गुड इवनिंग लेट अस स्टार्ट द सेशन जय श्री नारायण क्रिएशन वेलकम्स यू ऑल Uh, this is another live session, and today we will be doing a dupatta painting, and that too pen kalamkari style of painting with the fabricable products. Okay, hi Sudha. And uh, before I start, uh, let me share the creations of the people who have shared it to me of last uh, episode. This is Shobha's glass painting, reverse glass painting. beautiful one as they she shared the beginning of the work and today she has completed it and shared it to me hats off to you shobha i appreciate your passion very nice then we have another one this is our uh, samyukta's work beautiful face very good expressions given to it lively one and i wish you all the uh, best and try to complete the border design and other whatever work is pending especially the, on the gold so try to complete it and share it okay hats off to you <coughs> very nice very nice okay now we will begin so for the session today we will be in need of the fabric which is a dupatta i have a kerala munda dupatta and uh, another thing is the design sheet a pencil and of course the liner and uh, the next session we'll be adding some more colors also so today to begin with we will do the line work with the liner okay now kalam as you all know it's a pen so using a pen they normally do the work it is from andhra just a minute Hi Shobha, Meena, Anuradha, welcome. Good evening. So here I have. Um, this is going to be a designer dupatta. The entire dupatta we will be doing the painting uh, with the kalamkari style of motifs. Okay. So we have a big peacock, and then we have other patterns. like the floral pattern the leaf i want the leaves to be uniform so i have just traced it separately and i'll be using the same leaf on the saree also i mean on the dupatta also then we have another standing peacock then the running design for some of the borders so i will be having the borders also in between the patterns so i have composed it's a full and full my own composition and i have composed it in such a way that fits in the dupatta and this is going to be a designer one so to begin with as it is uh, a kalamkari work we are going to follow the same technique like first outlining it with black and then filling the colors so here also we will be doing the first step as a outlining the entire picture that to with the uh, 3d outliner black so while tracing the design you can always use as especially when you do a kalamkari work you can always use a black carbon preferably a used one not a fresh one okay so that is the main tip which you should follow while tracing the design and uh, the colors of course of your choice here i have taken a white base the half white uh, colored dupatta 
and then uh, these are the ones which I showing you the leaf the floral pattern and the uh, running design okay so I have traced I have half of the uh, dupatta I have traced the pattern and we will do it and the other half will be the same I will repeat the same design from the other side also so it will be in two halves with the same pattern okay and then uh, in the center of the dupatta there will be border patterns with uh, some elements attached to it from all the sides it will be four in number depending upon the size or it could be uh, eight also okay and the dupattas these are available in the market you can source a pencil because this has little transparency so i just kept the design underneath and then using a regular pencil i have traced it i'll just show you those who are new you will have an idea just see the fabric and you can place the design under the fabric and it will be clearly seen from the top and using an ordinary pencil you can trace the design the same way i have done it all over I'll say ab about half of the dupatta okay first step is very very easy those who are comfortable with uh, liners you can always outline it with black outliner fresh <coughs> So for the, the brush, the number would uh, I would prefer you to use is either triple zero or three. That will go fine. And attach the frame, the embroidery frame. Make it tight enough. For the pen kalamkari style of work, they normally use only black, nothing else. So the same way, using the fabrical products, we are going to create on such piece. Here I have drawn only the outline, no detailing was traced earlier. So all the details you have to do you, using your creativity, you can create beautiful patterns, okay. Hi Sri Lakshmi ma'am, good evening. Yes, you can do it on the sari also, Sesha Kumari. Hi Saras, good evening. Okay, and here when we uh, talk about the liner, the designs are, are to be little more uh, like uh, bold, should be bold enough. So what you do is, you can cut open the nozzle for one and the other one you keep it as it is. You will be in need of minimum three liners to do the entire um, dupatta. Three liners and two bottles of black color. Okay. So now for the outline, let me cut open the nozzle. So you have a small portion here, just cut it and make the dia of the hole a little bigger so that you will get beautiful broad and bold lines. So one is for the, only for the borders, border in the sense for the entire outline of the main motif. The other one is a regular one, okay, I have not cut open it. So these are for fine lines to do the details and to draw some patterns in the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, for small, small motifs in the, this will go good. Now let us start. Hi Nagukumari, Leela, good evening, good evening. Now we will start with the um, thicker one, that is the cut open. Now here is the peacock, when we talk about kalamkari, the first thing which comes to our mind is the peacock, the most commonly used design in kalamkari. So there are varieties of peacocks, different posts of peacocks, peacocks you have. So you can choose any one and you can accommodate, you can compose the pattern accordingly. Now let me draw the outline. These have little close resemblance to um, Tolu also, Madhubani and Tolu Bhumalata. When we talk about the Kalamkari, certain patterns, certain designs, certain attachments or the elements which we add to this 
uh, have a close resemblance to Tolu Bommalata as well as Madhubani also. Hi Vasanti, good evening, welcome. And when you are dragging the tube, especially uh, when we want to do a broad line, the bold ones, place the nozzle of the liner firm on the fabric and then start squeezing and drag it. Okay, so it should not be like a cord, it should be like a thin line painted uh, as if it is painted with a brush. Make bold lines. And takes very less time to dry also. Hi Venkata Sri Gauri, Namaste. Always draw the outline first and then try to fill the details. Now the big portion. I have started on the dupatta itself. I will be completing the dupatta in two or three sessions. Those who wish to do one, please do start along with me. You can... Uh, um, Collect many patterns of peacock from the net, especially uh, the Kalamkari. So beautiful ones are there. For the eye also use the broad nozzle, the bigger one. Make it bold enough. Just press it on the fabric and then you drag the tube. Now the side line. I am doing only the main picture and not the details. Okay. And just turn it. Since this is a bigger one, and difficult to place it. I'm so happy that you people are trying the work along with me. So happy to see your creations. Just hold it this way. I request you all to use only the uh, liner because this is uh, easy to do and only if you are not comfortable and you are really scared of use the paint otherwise use the liner as far as possible. Just touch the fabric and drag the tube. Okay, now a certain uh, main lines I have done it. Now I want to do some detailing. 
so for the detailing i will use the regular nozzle so for the regular nozzle just like any other uh, outline you need to do but certain patterns you can create on your own say for example the small feathers around the bigger one you can make curves or you can make comma strokes also okay so let me just start very sorry now and then i'm just adjusting the thing this i uh, i think it was around 350 or something i got it long time back i bought lots so it was lying with me uh, i started one with this our next project will be also again on dupatta but with madhubani painting beautiful one madhubani we will do now i'll start with the detailing just make comma stroke this is a new pack that's why the color is very bright and uh, uh, it looks as if i have used the cut open nozzle but it is not all these things you, you need not have to trace it just like that you can start doing it so maximum uh, you will take only 2 uh, to 3 days to complete at dupatta but because tracing hi srinivas sir uh, Uh, maximum the only the tracing takes more time and doing it with the liner uh, just you just finish it in no time say 1 plus 1 day one day for uh, tracing and one day for uh, uh, liner work just touch and drag the tube follow the pattern it should be parallel and it is a comma stroke a common one you find in kalamkari also in tol you have a very good avenue for the hand painted uh, materials the dresses thank you thank you lalita ji thank you so much okay now coming to over here all this is dry kalamkari mainly will have this kind of pattern in most of the places without lifting the cone you have to do it edukke nenachal enna नूर वैस के थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच नहीं के सोना लान तेरी हुए ना के जस्ट लेट मी नो एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ स्कैलप डिजाइन आल्सो इस कॉमन इन 
kalamkari then here you have again the same pattern then one more line just draw a line and then start again making small partitions make it as grand as possible no no the color will not go i have so many uh, fabrics where i have used only the liners it will not fade either fade or it will not go also it will not get washed out you need not have to worry at all here i have not drawn anything but i will continue the design i have few sarees also which were wearing on which i have done the liner work long long ago this is the pure cotton dupatta try to fill the details do not trace the inner detailing okay just trace only the outer designs the main motif and then try to create your own pattern done and now here i just happened to meet uh, an artist from kalhasti and he has uh, guided me with some patterns so all those patterns i am trying to incorporate in the uh, design this is like uh, kerala mural where we have the pattern so he said we do follow this kind of pattern also in kalamkari so i am just adding that particular design what he told me that Okay, now you have the center portion. You can make small checks over there. Make parallel lines. Try to fill the gaps as far as possible. Then turn to the other side. thank you thank you <laughs> have fun make dosa and have okay i had upma uh, for the evening snacks for the tea we had upma that now here in this what you do is you make small patterns on the bigger gaps done and now try to wipe the nozzle every now and then okay now coming to the feet
a common peacock i have taken which you normally find in kalamkari style of work there is a very good demand for uh, kalamkari work also on the wearables Done. Okay. okay, now coming to the portion one second. Let me finish here. I'll try to complete it within two days. Otherwise, we will plan for one more day. the center since this is a peacock what i would like to add here is the eye of the peacock first and then the lines okay so now add first draw a broad one like this oblong shape here and there then add the eye of the peacock After uh, these things dry only, you can do the next detail. Okay. Done. Let it dry, then we will do the detailing later. Good evening, Ashoda. Any other materials? You can try this kalamkari on uh, tussar, pure silk, cotton sarees, and some kinds of synthetic wear. You can work with the um, liner. Okay. You get nowadays you get lot of plain dupattas in the market, especially uh, silk cotton you get and then tussar you get and uh, organza. So on all those stuffs you can do this kind of any kind of work you can do. Especially one stock comes out beautifully on organza, which is only three hundred rupees they charge and uh, you can sell it at a very high rate because once you do the work on it. So now. Um, the almost uh, the main portions are over except for the um, lines in the i mean the main uh, feather okay now we will do that also first you draw one straight line from each of the eye of the peacock i mean the feather Okay, done. Now, in this, what you can do is, you can either fill in the gaps with this kind of, uh, I mean the um, curves, or else you can draw fine lines also. Fine lines means, on either side of the main line, just draw Fine, tiny lines. First, from one side, and then you can finish from the other side also. Okay. 
all these things they do with the column that is the pen and then uh, I mean the black color only natural color they will use so here our column is the liner Now let me move on to the next one. We have done with the peacock almost and uh, little more um, detailing also we can add no doubt about it. But uh, just for the at present we will move on to the next. Okay. The next one will be the border. Hi Vinokumar. Dear friend good evening. I will just shift I will just show you those who want to take a screenshot of this you can take it because the detailing is only in this and not in my um, uh, print okay I have only the outline so whatever detailing I do you can take it only from the video so I will just show it to you you can have a screenshot of this okay now we will shift the frame to the other side here we will have the floral pattern this is the floral pattern once again I got it from the artist so this pattern I have added here and there the flower and then we have the leaf also so when you draw it on you cannot have, have it on a, a continuous pattern like so I have it on small bits and pieces I will accommodate all these things here and there wherever I want to add it okay so I have a flower and a leaf pattern this is a typical uh, leaf of Kalamkari style of work and you have one more leaf also which, which will have lot of curves in it detail too, too many uh, tiny curves in that okay either this or that you can use when you talk about Kalamkari only these two leaves should be added not any other kind of leaf now we have the floral I have two uh, peacocks one over here and the other one this side in between the two peacocks I have a tree emerging so we will do the tree first the flowers and the leaves in it so I will shift the frame I know whether you people are able to see the design um, because it's too light I normally don't draw it too dark mine will be very very light Can you see the leaves and the floral pattern which I have drawn? Just pull it and then make the thing tight enough. I'll start from here. For the flower, I am not using the cut open, it is a regular uh, nozzle I am using. Typical flower for uh, uh, Kalamkari, he said. Maybe uh, his creation, so he was very particular about this flower pattern. Some more detailing the center can be done with lines okay then we come to the main stem just draw the line two parallel lines and we have the leaves and the midrib is always like this which will have two lines ok 
okay remember for kalamkari the center midrip will be like this and some sometimes the leaves will have two lines like this only on one side not for the entire leaf but only on one side these are some of the tips which i have taken from different kinds of paintings especially the kalamkari style okay now here we have one more flower so just see how fast we can complete a painting using the liner it is just same like the paint the color will not fade neither the color nor it will come off so no need to worry just blindly you can use the liner and to fill here and there they even add the tendrils or the spirals they call it a small one just to fill the gaps they always add this small and uh, uh, the lengthier one they do so in between two peacocks you have the tree emerging this is how they do with the kalam just start at one point they complete the leaf go get inside then come out complete the pattern so same style of i have seen them working with the kalam so i am following the same step but using the liner okay now we have done with the branch in the center with one peacock on the right side the left peacock we will not do today but we have one more small uh, peacock towards the um, i mean to fill the gap on the i mean towards the uh, side okay then we have the border then we have another floral pattern also for the border we will do that first and then shift to the other area so that that will get right uh meena oh line podumbodhu edhaadu oradhu innu oradhu pattutna remove panna mudiyadhu paint ali remove panna mudiyadhu indha line ali remove panna mudiyadhu okay so you have to be very very careful whether you use the paint or the liner romba careful ah pannu நீங்கள் பெயிண்ட் அண்ட் ப்ரஷ் எடுத்து பண்ணிங்கன்னா இதை இந்த போர்ஷன் மட்டும் முடிக்கிறதுக்கு இது ஒரு டேக்கன் உங்களுக்கு டூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஆகிருக்கும் பட் இங்கே நான் வந்து ஒரு ஹாஃப் அன் ஹவர்லேயே இந்த போர்ஷனை முடிச்சிட்டேன் ஸோ தட் இஸ் அது இது வந்து கொஞ்சம் ஃபாஸ்ட்டாக ஒர்க் பண்ணுறதுக்கு சௌகரியமாக இருக்கும் அண்ட் கலம்காரி அப்படிங்கிறதுனால நான் வந்து இந்த லைனரால் உங்களுக்கு இன்றைக்கி சொல்லித்தரேன் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ மத்ரா okay now we will shift the frame to the bottom uh, this thing um, kalamkari border so i have made a mark over there and then we will do the flower border also the flower border it is the same what we have attached here and there on the tree and for the filling of the gaps same flower i have taken here now for the border you should not do it from the i mean uh, from top to bottom you should not do the line it should be always the reverse so if it is a reverse means you have to turn the frame and then start from the one second
now here here is the border this is center i have marked the center so just draw first the center portion and then try to complete it i will do it on the other side okay so now i can turn the piece you have zari work on either side of this you have two lines in between the two lines i didn't want to leave it as it is but I, at the same time i want to get it filled up with the border which is a common one in um, kalamkari so i have chosen this pattern start at one point stop then come back again and then you draw you have elephants you have horses in kalamkari and uh, you have mainly the peacocks and the parrots peacock is the most commonly used um, a uh, motif different poses different sizes you can do now coming to the floral border it's the same like what we did at the top okay let it be uniform done okay i have completed one flower my favorite black and white now here in this the center portion i will just fill it up with the liner itself even this also you can make small filling all these things you can do with the uh, liner itself no need for the paint okay then do the center one definitely by tonight i will complete the uh, half of the dupatta and tomorrow we can start with the next step one more flower i'll show you then i'll shift it to the other side or with a different pattern any doubt you have you can try on tasser you can try on synthetic organza thank you I have done a some different pattern on a sari, uh, peach white painting on the sari, but now this is uh, 
प्योर कलम पेन कलमकारी स्टाइल ऑफ वर्क दिस फिलिंग ऑफ द आई मीन द फिलिंग्स विद द लाइनर टेक्स लिटिल एक्स्ट्रा टाइम टू ड्राई अनलाइक द लाइन्स ओके नाउ हियर ऑल्सो इन द सेंटर ऑफ ईच स्क्वायर यू यू कैन जस्ट फिल इट अप मेक सम बोल्ड सर्कुलर डॉट्स these are all called uh, the detailing okay of course everybody will get the outline but detailing should be something different extraordinary exclusive which you should create using your creativity this is common this kind of pattern is common throughout for kalamkari no doubt about it but the other things like filling of filling it with dots filling up with the i mean the area with the liner or uh, making some small uh, patches all those stuffs are different done so now we will shift to another design in the corner because i can't move to to my right it is not at dry but i have a small bird and few flowers and leaves also but remember once you trace the design do not wait so start the work immediately because we are using the black carbon or the black pencil that will get fade off uh, very easily so do the work immediately i have to do it tonight otherwise sometimes if it gets faded off then i have to sit and do the tracing again so better not to have such things you can finish it off as early as possible just one second somebody at the door step so so now i'm shifting the frame to the left side okay we have done one uh, main motif in the center and with the tree follow uh, adjacent to it and then we have done the border few motifs now we will do another small uh, once again peacock you will love this pattern also very interesting one as i told you i have drawn only the outline no detailing was done same way you also have to do please do not draw each and every small detail do do not trace it okay okay now we have in case if you want to uh, suppose if it gets faded off or you are not able to visualize the i mean see the uh, drawings what you have traced you always keep the print out aside besides you and then looking at that you can complete it here it is not the case but in case if you happen to uh, come across such situation you can do that okay now i am drawing the eye and filling the eyeball a small peacock chubby one then then the upper crest now we will do the body portion some pictures they trace and some they do it free handed original kalamkari okay
the small feathers then we have the lines here so most of the areas i mean the gaps will be filled with this design only you could find the close resemblance with the tolu uh, peacock also tolu in tolu also you have such uh, patterns both belongs to andhra so there is a close resemblance between the two now we have the main feather so let me just now i will keep it like this and do the main the main feather Okay. Now we have the comma strokes. Let's start. I'll do it like this. I'll start from the bottom because I'm comfortable with this. make the frame little stiff so that you can slide on the fabric easily just move the nozzle see how it's sliding done hi pratibha good evening good evening how are you then the sides wipe the nozzle every now and then and here also you have small set of feathers two layered feathers so add those also and then the same flower and the leaf here then the center line okay and add one more line only on one side not on either side make two lines because we have the uh, other um, filling of colors also so it should be double line
ओके नाउ लेट मी स्टॉप ओवर हियर एंड आई विल कंटिन्यू अनदर पैटर्न विच आई हैव ट्रेस्ड ओवर देयर दैट इज जस्ट अबाउ द टू बर्ड्स सो इट्स अ कंटिन्यूस ऑफ डिजाइन टिल द सेंटर and the same design will be repeated <coughs> from the other end also who is this or a child rose for stars thank you thank you so much for your compliments do um, stay connected for future tutorials also if you are new to the channel please do subscribe now we will push the frame to the center and the, the particular portion we will do today okay that now here this is the pattern what i have traced this is the one i have traced we are going to do this again another uh, most commonly used floral pattern of kalamkari and just look at the leaves typical uh, kalamkari leaves okay so do not add any other leaves just what is meant for kalamkari you have to add yes i am going to cover the full dupatta with these designs it is not in patches or just for a small portion of the dupatta it is going to be extended throughout so don't miss till the end stay tuned This is how they do with the color, without lifting it up, they complete the pattern. So you can also try like that. kalamkari leaves will have the veins also done but here i am not going to do the veins i'm just going to leave the leaves as it is you have to study a lot observe all the patterns what they have done the, especially the leaves the style of the leaves and then the shape everything this is not going to be the border like it is like the peacock then i have the other peacocks also then uh, a border in between the two tomorrow we will do the rest you will you will know what is uh, actually it's going to be this is just the beginning is completed here yeah, start the circle first then start the spiral complete it and then the petals around it done okay understood
so with this we come to the end of today's session and tomorrow again we will be doing it and uh, suppose in case if you are not able to finish it tomorrow we will have one more session for the completion remember to have the double line for the center of the uh, leaf it should be like uh, uh, like this only inge na youtube le ninga full dupatta finish pandrada paakalam okay thaniya post pannaonga avasiyam kadaiyadhu meena idhile ninga paathute vaanga na thaniya post panna poradilla as i am doing it you can have a look at it so we have done this i'll just show you what all i have done today activity careful i need to so try to get a uh, three um, liner tubes and then two bottles of black color and the rest i will tell you tomorrow so to start with you need the liners to finish a full dupatta you need three full liners okay now we have the main peacock Okay, in the center, I have this is the full size of the dupatta. So I have placed the uh, mark the center. Then on either side of the center, I have placed two big peacocks. Then a tree emerging uh, emerging from the center, and then two small birds at the sides. Yes, uh, Satya. It's my favorite, and I love to do with the liners. Play with the liners like anything, especially the outline or with the black. It's really working out very well for me, and so far as um, I have not received any complaint also from my clients. And then uh, we have the again a part of the branch with the leaves and the flowers attached to it. Then at the bottom we have the kama stroke border. and then the floral border border this is extended on either side i have done only a small portion of it okay then coming to, uh, to little above again a tendril with the uh, i mean the running pattern with the flower and the leaf the most commonly used motif of kalamkari the flower as well as the leaf the center uh, we will have a different uh, attachment of the motifs and then towards the other side the same pattern will be uh, repeated okay so exactly half i'll show you the other half will be the same any doubt this is not going to be borders this is just a border pattern i have taken but we have not completed it so there is some more work to be done so when you do that work this will look very pretty okay don't just uh, take it in the mind uh, that this is a border this is a border design i have taken this is not a border okay the continuation of uh, at the top as well as at the bottom will be different thank you sudha thank you so much thank you suchita so this is what we did today hope you have enjoyed and tomorrow we will continue there might be a slight uh, change in the timings tomorrow as far as possible i try to start by 5 o'clock if not by 5:30 okay because i have some thank you anuradha thank you nagu kumari thank you so much thank you so much for uh, joining those who are new please do like share and subscribe my channel and uh, tomorrow we will complete we will not complete definitely <coughs> we need one more class and um, uh, the next subject will be madhubani on dupatta okay 
थैंक यू प्रतिभा थैंक यू सो मच हाय पद्मिनी थैंक यू आई विल जस्ट डिट यूर यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट इट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड एंड यू विल फाइंड द ब्यूटी इन इट ओके Thank you Vasanthi thank you Rekha take care and bye bye a quick recap using a black carbon trace the design you try to compose the pattern of your own okay i have taken from the net and I, this is full and full my pencil and those who are little scared you can always use the black carbon and once it is uh, done start the out and then for detailing use only the regular nozzle thank you so much and let me see who the fastest finger is and try to do it on as far as possible dupatta thank you thank you so much any queries you have hi lakshmi ma'am good evening thank you i'll just show you move the thing slowly he will understand and the small pattern towards the left hand side and you have a similar one on the right side also understood now you could see the pattern and all here uh, see the floral pattern the leaf and the next uh, bird bigger one on the other side what we have done today in the class this is the one okay what, what do you want samikta you want to see the main peacock yes it is here it is upside down i'll turn it the other way i think now it is clear to you all please take a screenshot of this the detailing i have done yes you can do it on color color dupatta but let it be lighter shade okay not on dark because the work should be with black so a lighter color dupatta will be fine any any other doubt just take the photograph of the peacock and then uh, the floral pattern i have finished the tracing all over only thing is i need to do okay thank you so much take care and bye bye we'll meet you all soon tomorrow same time evening okay bye bye